Where are we going? What's up? We just went to shore yesterday to look for like a roadside stall that was selling, I don't know, fruit and vegetables. But we went in the afternoon and there was a big storm that rolled through. So we found a guy on the side of the road who spoke a little bit of English and I spoke a little bit of um, Indonesian. And we have arranged to go to the market at 8 a.m. So it's quarter past seven now, so we're going to wander in and find him. And I think he's going to put both of us on the back of his scooter and take us like a couple of k's up the road to go to the bazaar so we can get some veggies. Lauren keeps leaving the toothpaste lid off the toothpaste and it's drying up. More, more so the paper um, wipes are drying up. Yeah, and she's leaving the baby wipe lid open and, and we're just having a big stru struggle trying to keep her in keeping line. things clean and in line. Well, if that's not the biggest lie I've ever heard in my entire life, I don't know what is. Lauren gave me a haircut as well. What do you reckon? We're pretty much matching, you know. We're like twins. Dodgy. I thought I'd make us twins, so like... You gave yourself a haircut too, didn't you? Yeah, look how good it is. It's a great haircut. I nailed it. I've been nailing haircuts since 2016. Mad dog. I'm a mad dog. To the pasta. So once again, we are on the back of a scooter, the both of us, doing some provisioning Hello. through Sambara at the moment. Sambara. Sambara. This is how you get around sometimes. <laughs> how much is a pineapple? A dollar, but they're only little. But they're the cheapest I've come across. They'll be good, we can put them in a smoothie. Oh, I have a bag. One kilo. One kilo, yes. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want one kilo, maybe half a kilo. Very green here. Beautiful. All those bananas, we don't want. How much? We have one any. Rapa any? Yeah. Yeah? Huh? Good to bulk. You sure? The, the provisioning in Karanga has been done. Um, Buddy, Buddy helped us out a lot. Um, he scooted us to the market down the road and had a friend take us back separately. Um, and then we got some bananas. Yeah. Thank you, Trimakase. Sama sama. We're heading over to this little island over here. It's got a nice little caldera, um, salt water lake in the middle of it. So. We're going to go check it out in the dinghy. It's um, two nautical miles across, so we're just going to have to send it, get up on the plane and cruise. Send it. Across. Oh yeah, let's go really fast. You want to go really fast? Yeah, across because it's nice and smooth. She wants to go really fast. Smoking. That's what we want. Dylan, Namasai. Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. 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 Top, top. And uh, this area, many, many bats. Bats. Maybe, bats. maybe you want picture. Yeah. And uh, you don't walking this way. Yeah. On the beach, you walking here. 
Okay, it and comes uh, back here. finish here. Oh, it comes back to the beach here. Yeah. Okay. So it is um, one hundred thousand, which is ten bucks. A person. Ten bucks each to go on a hike. Hopefully it's going to the right places and it's it's pretty clean. The beach is pretty clean, which is nice. You're not litter. So the local people here think that these trees I have to confirm the name of them. I think these trees are sacred and they you tie you find a rock and you tie it to the tree with a piece of string and you wish on it and all your wildest dreams will come true. Coral is accepted. There's two giant signs that say no littering and then we walk along the path that they've built to show people this beautiful place and they've just got all of their cement garbage. Do you think they know that that's actually littering? Maybe they're not they're not sure. Maybe we should confirm it for them. Good job, boys. I'll reenact what will happen. Hati hati. Hati hati. I might have thought I was Satonda Island was formed from the eruption of Mount Satonda more than 10,000 years ago. The crater is surrounded by vast coral reefs and was declared a marine reserve in 1999. The volcano is estimated to be older than the neighbouring Mount Tambora. The salinity of the lake sitting within the caldera is higher than that of the ocean, and some say you notice more buoyancy when swimming. There's a hot one! Oh, it's so hot though. I'm sweaty. It's really relaxing. We've just done almost the most rebellious thing in sailboat history or just boating history and look. I don't think I'll be able to even able to pick them up. <gasps> look at the size of those nanas. They're small but there's a lot of them. We went into town looking for just like some random roadside market stuff and we found this guy called Woody who said he'll take us to the Pasara in the morning with a little bit of translating here and there. And so he took us this morning, it was all good. We got like a couple of things, not as much as we had hoped. We were hoping for some greens, but we didn't get any. And then we went back and we invited him back to the boat. He's like, can I come and see the boat? Like, yeah, of course, come back for the boat and you know, we'll make you a coffee and hang out. And then he's like, I have bananas in my backyard and mangoes. We're like, oh yeah, cool. Like we looked at them and he's like, would you like some bananas? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. We'll get have some bananas. And so he whips out his machete. And I thought, oh, he's gonna like take the top of the, um, Banana just give bunch us off. A few. Yeah, just like give us a, you know, maybe take the bunch down and give us half of the bunch or something like that. And he whips his machete out and he cut the whole tree down. But I think I looked at the other trees in his yard and I think that they must sprout back really quickly. I don't know. I'm, I feel really guilty. And yeah, we're breaking all the boat rules by having bananas in the boat. But we've had them the whole time, so. For free too. And they were for free. I said no. We'll give you money. He's like no, no, no. I want you to have them. We are leaving this beautiful place once again. It's so different here. It's awesome to just rock up to a new place and experience a different, a whole different climate. It's a different climate. 
I mean, it's it's still the same warmth. There's a bit of more moist, bit more moisture. It's more, it's more humid, but it's just so green because that volcano there just sucks up all that moisture from the ocean, I'd imagine, and just dumps it straight down back onto the land. But we're leaving here and we're going to Moyo Island, which has a nice little waterfall hike that we're going to try and complete. Um, and yeah, it's about six hours. We're just gonna cruise. Cruise, man, got all day. Look at this, she's got the binoculars backwards. No, I don't. Except in the water. We're missing Medang. We're gonna skip Medang. Is this Medang? No, Medang. We're gonna skip Medang. We, we've, I think it's more of a stopover for. Um, boats heading west in a hurry and I don't think we're in a hurry so we're just gonna go Moyo Moyo and then if these provisions can last us we can even skip Pad Padas go to Pada, uh, Potapadu see I'm not I don't know the pronunciations guys so I'm probably calling these don't judge me when we were coming from Kilo to Kananga. This dolphin. We oh, saw yeah. them we saw them like I don't know in the distance and I'm like okay I'm gonna motor over to them maybe it'll be, they'll jump up the bow and do some cool stuff. Next minute I'm like where they go and then next minute out of the water comes this dolphin Oh, he would have had to have been flying underwater. How how fast did he come out of the water? So fast. He came flying out. His whole body was out of the water, but he was straight up in the air, spinning already. It was just... And he did about three turns and then landed back in the water on his tail. And me and Loz were at the bow, just jumping in the sky, just laughing and going, Whoa! Like, whoa! And then they just left. He just put on this show, this crazy show, this dolphin. And just bailed. And once again, the camera wasn't at hand. Too relaxed. There's some dolphins around here. Hopefully they do the same thing. Join us next week as we head for Moyo Island to explore its crystal clear waters. We spy fellow cruisers on the horizon and hope to make new friends. Then off to explore the quaint village of Labuan Haji. And Lauren burns herself with boiling hot water. If you want real-time updates on where we're at and what we're up to, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And check out our Patreon page for early access to weekly episodes. It looks like so gooey.